Back in 2012, I was in a very serious car accident, immediately induced into a coma. Two days later, they performed a partial craniectomy, and I was placed on the brain trauma unit and kind of rehabilitated from there. I had to learn how to read, write, walk, talk, swallow, all over again. About five and a half, six years later, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. When I first met Dr. Schifrin, he was uh, right to the case and told me I had thyroid cancer and was concerned that it was it had spread into my lymph nodes. And I was completely terrified, but he was professional to the point, direct with me and quick, quick responsive with you know, what needed to be done. And I appreciated that. So I felt completely safe with him and I knew that I was in the right hands. The word cancer is always dramatic. It's not easy for the patient to hear word cancer and immediately make up their mind on treatment plan or care that we're giving to the patient. Yes, when I appeared on Katie, as obviously a uh, previous uh, trauma influence on the uh, procedure. She had a tracheostomy, which means mm -hmm. that she had a breathing tube through her trachea right in front of her neck, and she still has some scar there. And the procedure is usually much more complex when there was a previous surgery in this area. I did cut the old scar out, kind of try to uh, eliminate previous injuries and uh, significant scarring. It looked much better than it was. Our endocrinology oncology program is very unique in our practice because we have a multidisciplinary approach. Dr. Schifrin likes the endocrinologists to get uh, involved very early on uh, to help counsel the patient and be able to talk Katie through the process, let her know what kind of surgery was she was going to need up front. I think it provides reassurance. Because it was so organized, it put everything at ease a little bit more for me and it made me understand the entire process a lot more. Now her scars tell a different story. Yeah, for sure. I like that. Yeah. it's a good point. I think that the entire experience that I've had with cancer has actually opened up many doors for me um, because it has allowed me to be more confident in everything that, that's come my way. And it's allowed me to speak more freely about certain health issues um, as a professional but as a person too. And I'm ready for any other battle that's you know going to be and I'm barking my face, so you gotta love your life to, to live it. I'm Katie, I'm a fitness professional, I'm a professor, I'm a daughter, I'm a best friend, and I'm a cancer survivor. <laughs>